Yes, we are recording. So, what could you possibly have to offer on sex education for mentally challenged people? Okay, I should probably start. My name is Andrew. Hi, Andrew. This I'm is Morgan, the guy going, hey! No, this is Morgan. That's Andrew. Do an impression of you. Hey, I'm an oh, yeah. Right, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> This is a, that was a, a prelude, an audio prelude to uh, what I'm talking about. Don't I find me. All right, so um, <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know. I want to talk about sex education. Um, before we get into that, mm-hmm. what I want to say is go on the internet and look up ABC Sex Education for trainables. It was in back in the 1950s. Okay. I, I, I looked at this the other night. Mm. Um, about, I don't know, about two nights ago. It's a sex education video done yeah. in the 50s, which is basically, it's for people with mental handicaps and physical handicaps. But this right. documentary focuses more on, well, not really documentary, educational <laughs> video. It focuses more <laughs> on people with mental disabilities. Yes. So I'm not, Passing judgment, I'm All not right, taking uh, the piss. I just want to know where you're going with it. But so. I, but I, I just think it's when I saw that, I thought, Jesus Christ, because it's so stagnant in the way that it talks about sexuality, and it's yeah. so sort of um, obviously like there's a Christian sort of thing behind. Yeah, but it. like if you're looking at the 1950s, that probably covers you know um, their yeah. attitude to um, able-bodied people as well. True, but this one was a lot more. Um, just oh, just treating them like second class citizens in a way that you I found it funny and not so much the reactions from the mentally handicapped people, but just the way that the people would talk to them. Anyway, what I wanted to mainly focus on is sex education in general. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I want to talk about. Okay, yeah. Well shoot. We're, we're, okay, we're... so Okay, here's a question for you. When you were a child growing up, where did you get your sex education from? I think I found it in a, like, bluntly, um, a magazine behind a rock on top of Mount Canobolus. Like, and really? that is that is probably the first... How old were you when, when this happened? Actual, you know, like, oh, this is, you know, I was aware of the body, the human body, and the difference between male and female. But yep. when it came to sexual... Um, Connection, all that. Co- yep. uh, coherency, that's not the right word. But anyway, yeah, when it came to um, some sort of penetration anyway, it wasn't until I saw this magazine. It was just like, oh my God, I was probably about 10. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, there's other issues I'm concerned about. You being on what, other issues of this by particular? yourself, looking behind a rock. And oh, it, was, a it wasn't just me. It was me and my best friend at the time and his sister. So it was a bit weird. Right, okay. Yeah. But so that was your first. So you're just growing up as a kid, playing with Lego. You've got transformer toys, and then bang, you're on a mountain, looking <laughs> under a rock, and you've got this. You've yeah, got it, naked women with their bits flopping out. It's That's, a little bit Hodawaski, yeah. But uh, <laughs> okay, but That's okay. an actual thing. Well, what about your actual education in the in how reproductive system, like the man gets a bono, actually goes from flaccid to hard, and all that sort of stuff? Okay, actually being taught it from some sort of, um, you know, with some sort of, um, I guess, um, I don't know, Lucidity? motive. Yeah, I don't know. With, with with like actually being taught it as opposed to being discovered it. Yeah. I don't think that actually came about until I was in... And bear in mind, I grew up in a strange, I'd like to call, pseudoverse. It's not a real universe. It's like a place where people get taught magical things that don't exist. Um, I I got... from Did you grew up with Narnia. What yeah, are you uh, talking about? <laughs> close enough. C- C.S. Lewis was, you know, hinting at it with the Narnia stories. Okay, yeah. yep. Uh, yeah, from year seven onwards, I was at a Christian school, which uh, basically ignored stuff like that. Yep. Until I was in about year nine, which okay. equated to about 15, 15, yep. 16. And um, their sex ed was minimal at best. And all the stuff that I learned there, I'm putting up my fingers in, you know, quotation marks, but that doesn't quite work for radio. You're putting your fingers in where? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> putting my fingers up in uh, 
uh, all the RFI. Is RFI actually... Oh, a plural for orifices. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's orifices. Yeah, orifices. Orifices. Went to the work. Uh, you went to the work. I went to the work. <laughs> but I still made check out all the orifices. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, uh, but getting on to the point. Yeah, I was about 15 when it was actually taught to me properly. And when okay. I say properly, like in, in a... Ah, I'm getting stuck on words again. When it got taught to me in an ordered form, as opposed to just discovering it for myself, yeah, it was when I was in year nine, say yep. about 15, Christian school, and they sort of skimmed over it, but I never really got anything apart from the penis goes into the vagina. And then God makes the baby. And, yeah, well, there was, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's, that's all it was. Yeah. Uh, you didn't hear anything about... Other than that, like anything, and there was a whole lot of stuff I had questions about, um, considering I discovered this magazine when I was 10, which was not so much penis in the vagina, but, uh, you know, <laughs> penis next to the other penis, possibly being rammed up the anus of that other thing, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, I, I think I had my sex education brought up basically by SBS as a child. Um, yeah, but that wasn't so much you being taught about sex. That was you discovering sex through another medium. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, well, this is the start of my own education. Your sexual yeah. awakening. Well, yeah, well, I, I guess so, yeah, yeah. When but your because, flower bloomed. Exactly. So, yeah, there'd be that. And I'd, I remember being a kid, and I'd go, oh, there's nudity in this film. And my parents were like, no, you're too young. And I'd go, well, what, what's so bad about this thing? And then... Once that stigma was sort of created, it just got me more interested. Mm. So every movie, there'd be boobies and blah, blah, blah. And I knew it was like a forbidden thing. And it got me really interested. Were they Why taboobies? Why can't I know about this? Were they what? Were they taboobies? Yeah, they were taboobies. Yeah. <laughs> good one. Uh, <laughs> I make good. myself laugh. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so seeing all that sort of stuff. And then after that, it was more, mm, I guess, I remember as... Children, you and I were hanging out in Molong. Whoa, your, whoa, whoa. Is this, what, are you, what are you going to talk about now? I mean, oh, you did. The hand job behind the shed. I remember that. Yeah, well, yeah. Th that was, you know, there's nothing. You won't mention that. That's all right. Yeah, like, already, you know, but we well, come on, let, on it. let's just say that we were friends and, you know, maybe he touched my cock once or twice, but nothing came between us. Well, it almost did. Yeah, well, yeah I know, but shh. A giant silvery snail trail shooting out from... No, anyway, so... Um, shooting for... <laughs> um, no, that never happened, by the way. Anyway, um... So he likes to think. we'd go on adventures you know, around this country town, Molan, which you grew up in, and then be, like, cr there'd be, like, a dry creek bed and cubby houses, and we'd find these magazines that people left behind, and I'm yeah. like... There was no internet, so I was like, whoa, what is this? And we'd see boobies, and we'd see women with their legs spread, and all these sorts of things. Right, yeah. yeah and yeah. so, that was probably the start, but that was the start of my education in this stuff goes on. It's funny this that your world. sexual education was um, primarily delivered to you by a dried up ditch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... Seeing these snippets of like, what is this world that exists that I, I don't know about? Like, I'm I'm curious. Mm. I don't know about you, but I remember when I was younger, before I really knew what was going on, I remember flicking through magazines and seeing pictures of women and, and boobs and, you know, Kmart catalogs for bras yeah. and things like that. Oh, yeah, you get this stuff delivered to your door and you're like, ho, 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 I'm confused. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> don't really know what's going on. But the school didn't offer me any explanation of what is going on my parents definitely did not offer an explanation but we got to a point where thank god we had a local library and i went there and i researched and i did all these things yeah and i figured it out on my own there was school never taught me when yeah. i was homeschooled but you no way the, the only time that there's been an authoritative figure apart from myself dictating my own life yeah Someone outside of that who's tried to teach me about this was my father. And I had my first girlfriend. <laughs> How did was, this go? I was 20, I think I was 20, almost 21 years old. And just right? just like for those out there that don't actually know us, um, I might just throw out that both of us were kind of late bloomers when it came to the sexual awakening. Yeah, we Most very... people go through this shit at like 15 and that's, you know, I consider that a normal thing. But yeah. Yeah, we had a very sheltered life in a Christian 
tiny country town where things, you don't talk about that. And we were denied the the actual, there was no internet to research. This. There was no porn. There was no nothing like. Well, there was the internet, you know, in about 1997. And that was at a whopping 28k per second. Yeah, and then who could afford that, you know? Oh, but, but we knew, we were, you and I were like 12, 13. That yeah. shit just did not exist. But I remember my father, the closest I've ever got to that was my father, who pulled me aside one day and yeah. goes, Look, son, you've been with this girl for a, a while now. Um, <laughs> I said, Yeah, 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 I've been with her, been with her for a while. And he goes, Look, uh, I don't want to get into what you, you, you know, you two get up to in your private time, but. Um, Wear a condom. <laughs> and then he ran out of the room. And that was it. He, he just assumed that I had figured it out by myself. If I had no idea, he just wear a condom. I'd just be like, what What, what does that like, mean? Exactly. He just what? assumed. Yeah. But there was no actual, yeah, dedication or anything like that. Hmm. Anyway, that aside... Yeah, uh, um, which links me this to... This is the precursor to what you're actually talking about. Sex education, especially for the mentally handicapped. We were... Uh, we were uh, no, so like, seriously. On a society level, we were handicapped. So, uh, we, we were handicapped in certain in certain ways. Oh, so, you're sa- so basically your link is we, theoretically, anyway, um, are on the same level as handicapped people. Well, not so much me, but sometimes when I see you doing the shopping, I don't really know, like... No, <laughs> no. What, what I'm saying is, like, fuck you. You're, <laughs> you're denied a certain, you denied a certain right or a certain knowledge, and um, you're treated like, oh no, 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 don't even worry about it. And it's this thing that builds and builds and builds. Yeah, it's well, what did my head in? Why not yeah. watch this thing? Um, ABC Sex Education for Trainables was that? Okay. Way back then, they took the time out to go holy shit, we actually need to educate these people and, um, you know, yeah. and, and go for it. So I recommend <laughs> that everyone should watch, th- go to Google, type it in, watch it. Don't laugh at the handicapped people. Just laugh at the way they uh, handle the hand and they treat the handicapped people. Right. That's funny. Okay. Although off air, I found the antics of the handicapped people quite funny. So and I was on the grand laughing. Yeah, do, but do, uh, that's off. That's off air. Do we actually have anything to add to the way that um, handicapped people should be trained about this sort of thing, or is this you just wanted to advertise? The I fact just that wanted this to advertise there. this thing that this I watched. Is, this is, <laughs> so we've spent all fifteen to minutes watch. just building no, up no, to. No, no, no. <laughs> but the, the segue was sex education and how it happens and what age and, all right, and how yeah, we yeah, all yeah. sort of deal with it. Yeah. But correct. I, I right. just want people to watch this clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You little deviant you.